So I'm not sure if you've heard about this, but NAR, the National Association of Realtors, just, just settled a lawsuit that started in 2019, I believe. They were accused of like bunch of realtors doing price fixing on their commission, showing like more expensive homes to certain buyers to like raise up the price. They just settled and it's going to make a big changes in the real estate world. And I've been selling since 2008, about 15 years now, and this is the biggest change that I've seen. And I'll explain to you as, as simple as I can for the consumer's point of view without using the industry lingo. So let's dive into it. Hey, welcome back to Sean Realty Show. This is Sean the Realtor bringing you other home buying and home selling tips here in Portland, Oregon. So the first thing that they agreed on is that they're not going to put the buyer's agent's commission into our MLS or MLS in this case and that you cannot ad advertise any kind of buyer's agent's fee. So it has to come from somewhere and they're allowing the negotiation to be allowed between the agents or through seller's concession. And we can talk about that more. The written agreement for MLS participating agents for the buyer. So what it means is that buyers have to sign a exclusive buyer's agent agreement, meaning I'm not going to work with any other buyer's agent but you, and uh, I'll be responsible to pay your compensation, whether out of my pocket or through the negotiation from the seller. That's the second important agreement rule. New rules are going to start mid-July of 2024. That's less than about four months away from now which is just crazy to think about. These big changes need to be made in that time. It's quite frankly, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of scary uh, because I'm so used to selling houses with the old system. Maybe this new system will change it for the better, but we'll see. So those three rules are basically the main key points of this settlement. So what does it mean to you, home buyers and home sellers out there? So this is where some are saying that sellers are going to save a lot of fees in selling and the commissions will get reduced significantly. A lot of realtors are going to leave the industry because the money making isn't as good and they compare with the other countries like low fees and things like that. Going back to the fee right now for the selling side, it's anywhere between like 1.5% to about 3%. On the buying side, pretty similar 1.5 to about 3%. I've seen some like a flat fee, like 7,000, 8,000 type of thing. I've seen as much as 20,000, maybe 30,000 flat fee on like a multi-million dollar house in the past too. But it's either flat fee of cer certain amount or the purchase price one one and a half percent to like 3% is the range that I've seen. The thing to expect here is that the the negotiation between the consumers and realtors, the, the gap will get wider. I could see some people charging, hey, I'll just show you the house for like a thousand bucks and you take care of the rest. Or I could see, hey, I'll charge you 3% and I'll do a full service and I'll do the price analysis to tell you what's wrong with the house and do the inspection coordination, the appraisal coordination, everything. You're just going to be in the the first class seat that you have to do anything. So it's going to really have a wide range of negotiation between the buyer's agent and the buyers. Now the rule, the new rule is that they have to sign an agreement. That's the tough part. Now it may actually help me because that question is gone. Because I've, I've had about two, maybe three situations where out of town buyer working for Nike he, he flew in and he asked me to show him about 10 homes. I spent about five hours driving around 10 homes with him and he ended up not coming here. So I became like tour guide. I spent a whole day, spent a bunch of money on gas, time, energy, and effort. The other time I spent about a month and a half showing to this one couple about 15 homes-ish and decide, they decided to not to work with me because I wasn't showing them the right house. So in that case, I'll, I actually will be protected as a buyer's agent. And because I do have a value that I can provide and I can show that what kind of values I provide to my buyers, I feel good having that buyer's exclusive 
agreement being the mandatory that they have to sign to work with me. It makes it very clear. For the brand new agents, it may be a tough challenge actually because it's hard to know what your buyer's agent's value proposition is until you sell so, so many homes and being in the industry at least for a few years. Uh, so this is, I think, uh, joining a good brokerage could be really important to get really good education. I'm not saying that. I'm not, that's my brokerage, by the way, but I'm not saying that you should join me. Um, who's going to pay the buyer's agent? So that's the number one question. So they're saying the, between the agents, they can still negotiate. So the money can come from the seller's proceed, just like now through listing agent or directly to the buyer's agent from the seller's proceed. That is fine, but that cannot be advertised in preset manner. That's the rule. So it's, it's a little tricky. So I could see a scenario where like a buyer sign a buyer's uh, service agreement with the buyer when they make an offer. They're going to say purchase price is $500,000 and for the sellers to pay $15,000 to my buyer's agent because I cannot afford that after paying the down payment and closing costs I'm cash poor so I need your help seller that's the offer I could see that in the offer itself and if the buyer is happy with the price that they get they probably will be happy to pay the buyer's agent's fee that's how it's been working so far I see that's one very possible scenario and one other scenario where if the seller is declining that buyer's agent's fee then buyer may be forced to pay that buyer's agent now that's all depending on what kind of buyer's service agreement that you're going to sign with that buyer's agent so this is where there might there may have to be some state regulation so that the consumers can be protected from some other brokers who may take advantage of these consumers. Um, but that's something that you need to really pay attention to when you sign that buyer's uh, exclusive agreement, service agreement. The, for the sellers, you need to know is that any fee, any kind of listing fee, you should know that it can be negotiated. So there's no such thing as anymore 5%, 1.5%, 6%, set fees are gone. I mean, it didn't exist actually in my opinion because I never charged 6% in my entire career except for maybe once or twice. I can't remember. That could have been like 12 years ago I may have charged 6%. Uh, other than that, my fee has been much lower than that. Uh, but you can always negotiate your fee with the listing agent and now going forward with the buyer's agent and going forward with the offer negotiation just know that you can negotiate if you don't like it just say no and just decline the offer it's been actually going on what we call the for sale by owners some for sale by owners they don't pay the agents right now if i want to show a house to a for sale by owner like listing when there's there's no you know seller's agent I have to get an agreement from that seller that he's gonna pay me before I bring the buyer to show that property. That's the only time that I actually negotiate my buyer's agent's fee with the for sale by owner. That's legal, very legitimate. But every other situation, we really are not allowed to negotiate our fees when there is already like fees already offered on MLS. So right now, let's say 2%, 2.5%, 3%, if it's listed on RMLS, I'm obligated to show that house to my buyer. I'm not going to say, if you're not going to give me another percent, I'm not going to show this house to my buyer. I can't say that, right? So that's like, uh, right now it's a big no-no, but that's going to be big yes-yes soon. One side note, um, the companies affiliated with Home Services of America and its related companies like uh, Berkshire Hathaway affiliated companies are not included in this settlement. So if you are working with those uh, companies, uh, I'm not sure what, uh, what is going to happen. Just know that you can negotiate the fee, just like free market. You can sign an exclusive agreement, just like attorney retainer. A lot of big changes are happening. You get what you pay for. Individualize the very attention, detail, sort of, customized customer service 
representation is not going to be cheap. If it's scaled in big mass scale that you're part of one big website, that can be pretty cheap, that's fine. But when it comes to like detailed, customized buyer or seller representation, it does matter who you work with really because there's so many things that could go wrong, so many ways to save money, and so many ways to protect yourself and even consultation on buying the right kind of home that you didn't even know that you needed a four bedroom house instead of three these things come out during the initial buyers consultation that i do like one hour with every buyer before i show any homes so these are the values that you should look for and you always should know that you have a right to choose your realtor no matter what and you can negotiate the fee and uh, buyers will buy, sellers will sell, houses will sell, sky is not falling. This may be the good thing for the real estate industry. Maybe it can save some money for the people. But what I'm really concerned about is the buyer protection. Now, I'll just touch on this very briefly. If the sellers, they don't share what they need to share about the property disclosure. If the buyers don't know that because they're not represented. If the seller's agent don't share that, that's a problem right there. If the buyers don't know their options, when to pull out of the deal, when to do the inspection, when the appraisal amount comes in lower than the purchase price, can you negotiate or not? How many days you need to negotiate within? There's so many moving pieces that buyers and agents keep track of so that they can protect the buyer. And that service is not going to be cheap. So, just know that somebody has to pay for the buyer's agent who work night and day and weekend showing 20 homes, writing 20 offers in multiple offer situation. I'm getting kind of passionate about this, you can tell, right? Choose wisely. That's all I'm gonna say. If you hit the, hit the like button, I will really appreciate you. And if you subscribe, mm, and uh, if you have any questions in Portland, Oregon real estate market, I'm here to help. You can call me on that number. That's my company. If you want to look for a brokerage, let's talk. But I'm not recruiting you yet, but uh, we can have a talk. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching Sean Realty Show. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.